On International Plant Appreciation Day, on April 13th, that is today, plant lovers throughout the world get together to express their appreciation for these green oxygen machines to properly honor these natural gifts. The event also discusses the myriad benefits plants provide to the environment, such as improving air quality, creating small wildlife habitats, and making dwellings more visually appealing. Who is a plant mom here? Me. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cactus. I mean, cactus is very, 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 very important yeah. to me because, yes, yeah, not just even the air. I love what the cactus depicts or what it represents, oh, right? What does it represent? It can survive anywhere. Oh, really? So I call myself a cactus on a palm tree because I know that I can survive it. Oh. My adaptability skills are top notch. I can survive wow. yeah, anywhere. Just... Yeah. So but there's some colorful wow. ones. Too. Yes, those, those purple still... ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they're very easy to maintain. Oh, really? You can. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I watered my cactus. I actually well, don't remember. It's been yeah, that's what, why they're found so. in the desert yes. and they can survive. I I have aloe vera though. Well, well, well that is something. Yes, it's something. I'm just saying. So, so, which, I mean, it's, been, it's been said that plants actually does. It, it actually does more good than mm. any other thing. Yeah. Yes. it purifies the air. Mm -hmm. You know, you have you know. Fresh yeah, that was air one of the main reasons. Like, it also kind of plants. changes your mood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. There's some kind of plants that helps you always stay in a very you know pure mood. Yeah. You know, plants also helps you with your spirituality. Sometimes there are some plants that actually you know increases your really? energy and your vibration. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it cleans. It cleans. So it's, it's <laughs> no, they're, they're like the lucky bamboos. I don't know if you know the bamboos, the Chinese bamboos, yeah. those really? ones, right? Yeah. yeah. So they say the different numbers represent different things, right? So I know there are there are different things about plants like that. Yeah. I, I do really one know thing, about the uplifting. One other thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, one other thing I wanted to mention: if anybody that is probably going through whatever type of emotional, mm. you know, drama, loss, or whatever. Having a plant mm. and caring for that plant actually and does. Helping. So you know how they, they say if when you speak to water, mm. the water yes, has yeah, life. Yeah. So amongst all the living things, you know, plants, animals, and humans, plant is some is a creature mm. that when you speak to it, actually, something yeah. happens. They want. If you it. notice, the, the, <laughs> it's the caring. You just realize you brought something back no, to life. No, I just realized that <laughs> when I'm in a rough time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the leaves get brown, mm. oh. which it which, fills you, which is always a sign you. that you know I'm something is Going up, up, something yeah. is wrong. And I noticed that when they're you know happy times, mm -hmm. you it's just yeah, blooming, so yeah. thriving. Yeah. So the plants, nice. the wow. plants, the plants actually <laughs> That's good. works with you for you. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it does. This is very interesting. interesting. This is actually very interesting. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, that's you the importance of yeah. plant appreciation day. Yeah. Okay, NJ, what did you find for us in the news? So, my what's in the news today is the story of the federal government approving $23 billion for Third Midland Bridge maintenance. Um, the federal government on Wednesday approved the sum of 23 .3 three billion for surface maintenance of the third mainland bridge Lagos state as well as augmentation um, of the contract sum of for the old Enugu Anambra Road project. So um, the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, who briefed State House correspondents after this week's Federal Executive Council meeting at the presidential villa said the 24-month repair would cover 11 kilometers, including interchanges, ramps, and critical links. He said the uh, move aligns with Executive Order 11 signed by the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired in April 20, 2022, who gave legal backing to the country's national maintenance policy. Mm. So um, I think... The la I think um, earlier on it was the last time I think it was six point something billion. Yeah. So well, I, I don't even know why this is happening again. I don't, I don't do we understand. do we now maintain the bridges every year? And, was, and we I'm had sorry this conversation to say, the reason why this is my con <laughs> the reason why this is my concern is because I I ply the third mainland bridge quite and regularly, the holes yeah. are and dead. even during the time I've been a first time 
uh, uh, you know, viewer, I've mm. been right there mm. to see the kind of work that was Different. done and how long it took them to do the work. And it's been shabby all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're wondering, okay, are they still, is the process still on mm. or have they're they done. finished? Are they done? And then you find out, okay, they're, they're done. done. And you're wondering, the, the links have been going out of place for mm -hmm. a long yeah. time. It seems like so every much. time they just bring it slightly closer, but it's never like, you never see the full job done. All the job on the bridge is half and half. It's yeah. half hazard, very half hazard. There, there's some potholes on one side. So I don't understand how they do the maintenance. Do they accept to do the contract in patches? I don't even think Because that. maintenance to me is running another level, whole oh. entire layer of cement, gravel, Bank, yeah. on, on, it, on the whole road. So when, you, when the federal government says, okay, we're maintaining this road and after, or the bridge, and after that whole 24 months, what have you, that everyone has suffered, and because around that time, I think I used to leave, I'll leave the office like horrible, six, I time. wouldn't get home till after midnight and I have to be at work the next morning. And you have to apply the same yeah, traffic. And there's only one other alternative route, mm -hmm. which is the Surulere, you know, Eco Bridge. Yeah. Oh yeah, that other. One yeah, is that's the only other route. So it's it it gives it puts the country in a very very bad situation. It's, it's crazy. Funny enough, it's just as if Nigerians are. It's the citizens are basically suffering at the end of the day. To be honest. You know how many how bad that road is that middle of the night you don't if, if you're not conversant with, with where the pothole pot hole is yeah your you're car gonna be so messed up. either you're having an accident <laughs> or your car is gonna be yeah. mm -hmm. anyway that's actually that's there's this part just when you're approaching Unilag if you're going to the mainland or just before you approach um it's oh, in my head now so i know that once on i'm your way going, I, like, yes i just know to stay on this side of the mm -hmm, room because i know that mm -hmm. the other two lanes are yeah. messed up i hope i really do hope that this time around because i think to the third million with peculiarly is six billion naira that has been or six point something billion and allocated to that For the that. rest of it is yes For all the other the, the Enugu, Enugu, Anambra Anambra roads and all of that yeah i just hope that you do a great job again yeah. mary what did you find for us Okay, so today my story is about the building in Banana Island that collapsed. Mm. And um, La Sema, the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, has mm. reported that the six-story building collapsed that occurred at First Avenue, Banana Island, on Wednesday, April 12, 2023, was as a result of a truck that ran into the building. Um, I also have some truths that was said from Jumoke. a renowned mm -hmm. um, architect, architect, which yeah. is Jumoke Adenowo. And she has five truths to say about this. She says the first one, clients get what they pay for. Many mm. Nigerians are unwilling to pay for what they should for standard professional services, preferring to work with professionals who will take any amount they offer. Beware that, be aware that those who cut corners on fees will cut corners on your project and make money elsewhere on that project at your expense. Second of all, clients are sincerely baffled as to how to hire good professionals. Exactly the way you hire a good neurosurgeon. Referrals, not trials, referrals. The third one she says is, instead they see buildings they like and ask the architect to copy the buildings. Sadly, many professionals promise and do not deliver in the end, so above is key. The agency is taxed with regulating issues of construction safety obviously needs to step up. And she says on this collapse, the narrative is that a cement truck ran into a column. Listen, a cement truck running into one column should not, not bring, bring down seven. a properly designed and executed structure in the manner this one came down. Mm -hmm. Tell the story to the Marines. A residential building should not rest all its load on one singular support. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning of a narrative to exonerate cul culpable parties to stop. Happily, nobody was there. Nobody yes, died. Yes, but you so, know, I mean, it's, it's just... Well, how are much you sure money nobody has died? Been, how, how much no, money has been... Nobody died. Has been, okay. How much money has been... Lost. 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 But so there were people on top of that building. So even if you wanted to go cheap, even if you wanted to go cheap mm. you and you just, spent, min, let me just give you've an lost idea, everything. a hundred and something million, Zero. It's gone. everything is gone. Zero. So why go cheap? Yeah, it's the essence. Because eventually you've lost all your money. I tell you. 
and you have to start I don't again. know what we're going to learn in this country. Oh, this yeah. collapse, this building and collapse this is, is becoming just, thank too... God that there mm. were no casualties. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can only imagine if this building was completed. Oh my goodness. But this is going to it was had this people. This is going to cause tr like tremors to the uh, the buildings mm -hmm. around, oh, around it. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Mm. Okay, hello. Um, so my story is um, the ministry den um, denies request for 21 billion to rehabilitate the national stadium. Um, I'm just going to read the summary of the press conference that happened with the Minister of Sports. So the Sports and um, the Sports and Youth Minister, Mr. Sonde Dere, in an interactive session with the newsmen in Lagos last week, only mentioned the figure as one of the estimated amounts from the proposal received. Um, from the proposal received, which indicates that about the sum will be needed to complete the rehabilitation of the project. So the minister has therefore said that he wishes to clarify that um, no, no such amount was requested for and no such approval has actually been done as well. So they're actually saying that the 21 billionaire that was quoted is wrong. So we're hoping that this is the same thing we're talking about. The, the way, you know, we're always calling money in this country, it sounds like the money is, is like maybe paper. One bit, 21 <laughs> billion, 58 billion. And at the end of the day, when you now get to see the project that was done, you just see that it was shabbily done. So, I mean, I'm glad that the minister actually, you know, cleared the air. Mm. And we were waiting to see how much the it's two going actually to really cost. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Okay. We're not supposed to have this money, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. They keep borrowing left right. I and we're still, we're still inside the sea. Who is going to pay this money? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my story, um, the Lagos State Government has expressed displeasure about the gangs of Lagos movie and then said it's a mockery of our heritage. Oh, when I saw this, I just laughed and I'm like, hey. why do people just allow this okay. entertainment space to just thrive in peace? Why do we have to do this? Have you seen the movie, The Gangs yes, of Lagos movie? I've watched it. And um, so in a reaction by the state government, the Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mrs. Uzamat Akimbile Yusuf said, the ministry being the regulatory body and the custodian of the culture of Lagos State viewed the film or series as a mockery of the heritage of Lagos. Um, earlier, Prince Uthman Shodikwe, the Akwesion La Eyo Balakete Kukpa, a cultural group, has condemned the film, calling for an immediate withdrawal. The claim that is described as a cultural misrepresentation mm -hmm. and it is portraying the culture of the state in a derogatory manner. Mm -hmm. What's the culture of the state? The culture? I think that's because of the whole Eyo. So, the Eyo, so you know, remember at some point the Eyo yeah. short and yeah, so I think that's why. We're having this entire, but which I feel, or rather, I believe is very unnecessary. Yeah, Thank you. And at the end of the and day, it's, it's not as if this is not what is even going on. I mean, I, I, I mean one, one thing about stories is, is either it is fictitious or it's real. Mm. And yeah. if they say it is fictitious, it is not your story. It is their story. So yeah. how you want to interpret, interpret it, it. That's, that's, entirely that's, me, up to that's entirely up to you. And as a matter of fact, why are you so bothered? If I mean, not in the, at the end of the day, you, you think that they are trying to say something that they are trying to hide. Well, anyway, let's I guess someone will there. tell the real story. <laughs> so, regardless of, of how you try to kill it. Okay, let's come back to discuss. Let's quickly take a break and when we come back, we'll discuss our story today.